Hello, folks. The 2021 Ford Bronco gets its off-road proudness in, a, in part from an available crawler gear. But why is the feature such a big deal? And how does it work? Well, of engineering, Jason of Engineering Explain explain the details. Denoted by a C on the Bronco manual transmission shift pattern, the crawler gear is a first gear with an even higher ratio. Finsky said, in the Bronco, the crawler gear has a ratio of 6,588 to 1 compared to 4,283 to 1. The first gear that allows for more wheel torque, albeit with a lower top speed. They don't call it a crawler gear for nothing. Now, as with any four wheel drive vehicle, that effect is amplified by the gearing of driveline components. The more aggressive of the Bronco two available transfer cases offer a low range of 306 to 1, while the most aggressive option for the rear differential on the manual transmission Bronco is a final drive of 4.7 to 1. And that's on the Badlands model. Now all of that gearing makes the wheels rotate slower compared to the engine. With a crawler gear and a low range engage, the engine rotates at about 35 times for every one turn of the wheel. Now Fiske said that compares to 20 engine rotations per tire rotation. In first gear, in high range of three engine rotations per tire rotation, in sixth gear, and in high range. However, these gear ratios also create torque multiplication. Their larger radius reduces the speed that the drive shift and the axles now they're connected to spin, but it also adds more leverage, which effectively increases the amount of torque that sends to the wheels. This turns the Bronco 2.3 liter turbo for 310 pound feet of torque into 29,372 pound feet at the wheel. Now, according to Finsky, however, he said Ford likely won't allow for peak engine torque with a crawler gear because it would overwhelm the tire grip. The crawler gear isn't about sheer torque. It's about precise control at low speeds. Finsky said, the driver can keep speed slow and manageable while driving over rough terrain without stalling the engine. Now in the Bronco, the driver can crawl along at one mile power at a thousand RPMs, which is amazing. And that's all you need to know. Now try doing that in the conventional manual transmission and you won't get that far. So this is amazing folks with a crawler gear. Moving at one miles per hour and at a thousand, one thousand RPMs. That is just amazing. And let's get into more um, about this crawler gear. Now, of course, everyone knows that the C is for crawler gear. Now, among many of the jaw dropping features announced on the Bronco reveal, one that stood out to hardcore off roaders was the ultra low crawler gear. which is amazing. Now, although the manual is listed as a seven speed, it is different than what you may think. Typically, the higher gears on the manual transmission are for lower cruising speeds, RPMs, 
uh, the greater top speed and better fuel economy. So how does the benefit how does this benefit the Bronco in an off-road situation? Now, as we know, the crawler gear for the Bronco shift knob is shown by C. And there's one through six gears. It's a more of a six speed plus crawler gear than an actual seven speed manual. The C acts as an ultra low first gear. Now let's get technical again. A crawl ratio of 94.7 to one means for every 94.7 engine rotation, your wheel rotates once. For comparison, the Bronco first gear has a gear of 4.2 to 1, which means for every 4.2 engine rotations, the wheel rotates once. The crawler gear provides a greater engine power per real rotation, which is going to make it do some amazing things, folks. The Bronco 6. 0.588 to 1 crawl gear ratio paired with a shorter 3.06 to 1 low gear of the two speed transfer case and the shortest 4.70 to 1 final drive ratio gives the crawler gear a 94.7 to 1 so when that engine turns 94.7 times that wheel only going to turn once so that makes it do some amazing things and make it go through what what we saw as far as when they were taking the, the uh, Bronco through testing on the um, on Hell's Revenge up at um, Moab. So theoretically, the Bronco will send 29,372 foot-pounds of torque to the wheel. You may be thinking about 30,000 pound-feet of torque. What are you going to do with all that power on the rocky trail? Now, the actual likelihood of putting that much torque to the ground depends on other factors such as vehicle weight and tire size. And you may ask yourself, what does that mean for me? Now, the super low gearing allows you to get more accurate throttle control instead of seeing too much power and spinning wheels when you need grip. The ultra low gears make so much power available that won't have the ride, the clutch at slow speeds. No more worried about burning or slipping the clutch, which can be expensive. Now, when you're on a difficult obstacle, you will be able to cruise as slow as one mile per hour with the clutch fully depressed. And that's just amazing, folks. More torque and better power. Delivery means better ability to crawl over difficult obstacles. The drivetrain combo gives the crawl gear a top speed of 7 miles per hour in a low range. Designed for off-road scenarios. You will never need C on any everyday pavement situation. Never. And then we got to ask ourselves too, since a lot of us are going to be getting the automatics, is the automatic less capable? Now when equipped it with the automatic, the Bronco comes with a 10 speed transmission. The automatic transmission features what? A crawl ratio. Now comparing the numbers, remember that the manual Bronco has a crawl ratio of 94.1 to 1. So every 94. 0.7 times the, the engine rotates, that wheel is going to only rotate once. Now, the Wrangler Rubicon has a crawl ratio of 84.2 to 1. The numbers might sound less competitive, but the automatic transmission torque converter also aids in power delivery, along with the help from the brakes. Trucks with a crawl ratio greater than 50 to 1 are considered to be pretty capable. 
especially when paired with the front and the rear locking differentials. You shouldn't have a problem crawling in a Bronco, regardless of which transmission you choose. And you ask yourself, is this exclusive to Broncos? No. This is a common feature in the you know, um, ut utilitarian type of trucks. Now in the early to mid 1900s, something called the grainy gear. Now this super low ratio for, of gear was used recently as early as the 90s. In 1991, the Chevy Blazer. Blazer with the SM465 transmission. You can also re-gear your transmission and transfer case with lower aftermarket gears to create an ultra low crawl ratio. So which is amazing folks. Well, I hope you guys um, understood more about this crawler gear. This is A Automotive Reviews. Remember, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. You guys have a fantastic day. And thanks for coming by. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and subscribe for more interesting videos.